What's good, YouTube? Feral Kings coming back at you again. Today we're going to be discussing all the swag that I've bought for EA Sports College Football 25. I'll be wearing all this gear while I'm doing reaction videos, tips and strategy videos, discussing my league and dynasty. Um, so it's just something else to add to the uh, the presence of the college football season. So I'm not going to be going into details about gameplay or anything like that, but this is what I'm doing to get prepared for the game. Just little things to add um, to, to the environment of, of, of in this college football feel. So without further ado, it's a little bit of an unorthodox boxing. I've received these 49 shirts um, over the course of the last week. So I've been I've probably wore maybe three in the videos. Um, so you've probably already seen those, but I did this video already uh, as soon as I got the shirts. Right now, I've just had time to go in and edit it. Um, and get this out. So without further ado, let's get into this. Don't want it to be a super long video, but it's 49 shirts, so it's going to be a minute for sure. Uh, number one, number one team on the game, Georgia Bulldogs. Number two on the game, the Ohio State Buckeyes. Probably be wearing that shirt a lot. Number three in the swag. Here we go, Texas Longhorns. Now, Texas is in the SEC. Joining the Big Ten, the number four team on the game, the Oregon Ducks. At number five, I've already done a reaction video for, for these guys, uh, Ole Miss Rebels at five. Six, going to be a little bit of a new uh, uh, regime down there. Row Tide, Alabama, six. Pick that one up. Can't wait to do this reaction with Mo Bamba. Penn State, seven. I can't believe my, my hand is not going to burn on this one. Uh, I went back and forth, did not, did not, did not want to buy this shirt. Uh, but they're defending national champions. The Harbaugh era is over. Uh, Michigan Wolverines. They are number nine. I'm waiting on a Missouri shirt to come in. So Missouri was number eight. I believe in my own personal poll that I did, Michigan was number nine. At number 10, Notre Dame, Fighting Irish. Love this shirt. My daughter, this is her her team. Even though we're here in Louisville, Kentucky, I've been a huge fan of Deion Sanders since my childhood. So it kind of rubbed off of my daughter, and she throws this in my face all the time. She actually, uh, Florida State, number 11. Uh, last year after uh, Florida State beat University of Louisville in the ACC championship game, uh, my daughter bought me a Florida State conference champion T-shirt. So uh, I, I had to wear that because I lost a bet. Number 12 is Utah. They are now in the Big 12 conference. And uh, right now I believe that they're actually uh, projected in an Athlon as well as uh, Phil Stills Magazine to be the uh, the front run. They're, they're the leader right now uh, in the clubhouse going into the season. So right now they're preseason uh, favorites. Uh, 13, LSU football, the Tigers. Did a reaction video with them already. A little bit of, uh, of harassment there at, at, uh, at the Ole Miss coach, Lane Kiffin, complaining because he was in Death Valley uh, frequently. Uh We've got Tennessee football. I really wanted this in that orange. They didn't have it available uh, at Fanatics where I bought this, but got the Tennessee swag. Enjoy this one a lot. So got the Tennessee. Another team who's leaving the uh, now, uh, I guess it's uh, the, the, the Pac-2. But anyway, Arizona is now in the Big 12. They're one of the co-favorites. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what they uh, what they do this year. So I got that Arizona gear. Uh, this one is another one I really didn't want to buy this swag. Um, division or a conference rival. Uh, but, you know, Dabo does his thing. One of the uh, co-favorites in, uh, in the ACC this year again. Uh, Clemson Tigers. I believe they're 17 in the Poe. Um, at, at least what's been released so far. Uh, it's always subject to change. Number 18, Big 12, going to be competing with uh, Oklahoma and Texas leaving. Uh, we've got Oklahoma State at 18. Uh, I don't have 19, Kansas State. It's uh, it's shipped right now. I'm just waiting on delivery. So 19 was my, uh, in my opinion, should probably be Kansas State, also in the Big 12. 
Uh, but I ha do have who I project to be number 20. It's not confirmed, but this is uh, my team in my hometown, uh, the Louisville Cardinals at 20. I did, uh, I was able to buy that swag. So really, uh, I'll be wearing that shirt a ton uh, for sure. 21, Kansas Jayhawks. 22, hey, I'm from the MIA originally. Uh, so I, you know, 305. Uh, I, I love I love anything with the U. Uh, back in the day when they wore the camo and stuff like that, I followed them when I was still in high school. So you know now we're conference rivals here in Louisville and, and, and Miami. But I still keep up with the Canes, man. Uh, you know there it is, uh, the U at 22 in the ACC. Uh, had a couple other teams I haven't received yet. Uh, Texas a m was one of them that was in that list, so I'm waiting on that. Uh, but I do have number 25, which is USC, who are, uh, they're now also in the Big Ten uh, with Washington, Oregon. Um, so they're they're they've made that jump. UCLA, which but UCLA ain't got no swag on Fanatics as far as uh, I'm concerned. All these are champion shirts. Um, but yeah, UCLA and TCU, those are the two teams of the power five conferences who have no sway with champion. I'm kind of confused by the whole ordeal. So those are the two shirts that I will not have during this whole process is TCU and, and UCLA. And I love that, that blue for, for UCLA. So, um, kind of wish I had some of that sway for sure. Um, Boise state, man, throw them up. They're going to be one of the teams who, uh, uh, in that group of five, who definitely are going to be putting pressure uh, on the rest of it and have a legit chance to make the playoffs, you know, because one of those teams are guaranteed to go, you know, so you're going to have a Boise State who's going to be competing for sure. Um, you're going to have an Appalachian State, um, you know, maybe uh, James Madison. They have another, you know, Cinderella season. Um, who else was it? There, there's, you know, there's, there's a couple teams. Liberty, they, they went to Fiesta Bowl last year, got smacked, got smacked. But Liberty, you know, those teams, one of those get to go every year. And whoever that, that number 12 par, uh, you know, par five, par four team is going to be that fan base this year is going to be upset when they learn that one of those group of fives has taken their spot. Um, so I, you know, I'd hate to be that number 12 team. Hopefully it's not Louisville this year. We're not left on, you know, on, on the doorstep, uh, thinking about what could have been anyway, another team from the, uh, from the ACC conference who legit, they could be, um, you know, a contender this year. They've done a great job with recruiting. They are not in the top 25 though, at least from what we've seen initially. Uh, so anyway, that was Virginia tech. Here's the next one. Uh, I, I, Hey, I picked this up. This one, the first batch of shirts I bought, they did, like I said, just go to the Fiesta Bowl, got smacked by, I believe it's Oregon. I mean, they got demolished 13. Oh, got to the bowl game and got smacked, but, uh, you know, all politics and all that aside, I, I like what Liberty's doing football wise, man. Uh, now, you know, it's, they've, they've lost their coach, you know, Hugh freeze, turn that program around, brought it, you know, pump some uh, life into it, but you know, they're, they're a winning program and, you know, they got to get some athletes, they gotta get, you know, but they throw the ball. They're entertaining to watch for sure. This is one of the shirts I absolutely had to do. This is in the second batch of shirts I had come, but I love, I love, absolutely love to have those, those traditional programs, man. And seeing that in on this shirt um, and, and seeing that, that, you know, that, that was a gray shirt instead of getting that red, I like that because that pop with the black trim. So I got the Nebraska for sure. Now this is another one of them shirts that my hands are kind of right now on fire. This is a huge rival of the, uh, of, of the university of Louisville. Now this goes back to, when we were in the Metro conference and conference USA and American conference and, and all that, but we hate Memphis state. And I ain't going to sit there and change it. It's Memphis state tigers. I don't care if they change the name. They want to rebrand and be Memphis. I ain't no Memphis. They're Memphis state. It goes back to when I watched them with Dana Kirk and all those guys, uh, Elliot Perry back in the day, uh, Penny Hardaway as Memphis state. That's who we played in conference USA back in the, uh, in, in the old days in the Metro. So that that's a, a rivalry we've played when Louisville was, um, in conference with them, we'd go down to Liberty Bowl and we would play them in conference. And then, of course, you know, we'd, we'd go 10 and 1, you know, and then we'd play Boise State in the Liberty Bowl in the damn code. Everyone else was playing in Florida and California and warm places. And we got rewarded with going to Memphis to go play at the Liberty Bowl. Give me a break. Enough about that. Anyway, next one Appalachian State. A. This shirt, I was happy for Appalachian State. I remember back in the day, they upset Michigan. It was great. 
But, man, I'm not so high on Appalachian State, man. We got uh, Scott Satterfield up here, came from App State. Good googly moogly. I'm glad that clown is gone. So, anyway, great guy, super nice guy, never want to be at Louisville. So, Appalachian State, though, they're one of the teams that's going to compete for the Power Five, no doubt. Hey, I love this. I, hey, back in the day, I rocked that Carolina Blue when they had Vince Carter and Rasheed Wallace and all those guys. Of course, you know, Michael Jordan back in day day, but, uh, you know, in the in mid-90s when I was uh, fresh out of uh, high school and rolling in college, I had that Carolina swag, man. So, right there, Carolina's one of the outliers uh, in the ACC. They'll compete. They The problem is... They'll beat people they shouldn't beat and then lose to a bunch of bums. So, I mean, it, it is what it is. Here's another team that's going to be fun to play in Dynasty for sure. UCLF, UCF uh, at the Bounce House. At Stadium, we get live. So, that's UCF. Uh, here's the next one. Uh, I've already debuted this one, I know, because uh, I did my Dion uh uh, parody but anyway Colorado Buffaloes hey they're all over the place they're outside the top 25 in some polls and some of them they've got as one of the worst teams in the country again so they got good players in Hunter and Shadur and Shiloh boy I, they can't stop a nosebleed on defense so it's going to be interesting to see what the heck happens this year uh next one UNLV one of those other favorites out there in the mountain uh mountain west it'll be interesting to see how that all shakes out here's one of the, the, the favorite in the uh in the MAC this year um they're like the eighth best conference but Miami of Ohio, uh, Red Hawks. That's a nice looking shirt. I had to pick that one up. That was in the first batch of, of my selections when I did it. Here's another one. It's the first uh, batch because I took one team from each conference when I first bought these. I bought 11 initially, and then I went out and was like, Shh, I'm going to go get another 38 more. So, anyway, Oregon State from the Pac-2. Uh, but I, I picked up that that gear. I know last year they went bowling. That was good. Uh, this one. Uh, it always brings back some uh, fond memories here. Uh, Washington State football. My son played at Holy Cross High School here in Louisville. We have a very similar uh, logo when he played high school ball. But this shirt reminds me of, you know, watching college game. There was always someone waving that Washington State flag. But then also that guy who was my rival uh, doing rosters, D.T. Linder, was a Washington State fan. So he used to have that logo on his website. So, you know. I always remember those back and forths that we had in the early 2000s. So, anyway, Washington State. Here's one. Western Kentucky football. Uh, when I was coming out of high school, I was going to go to Western and play football uh, before I ended up going to University of Louisville. Um, but Western was on the verge of, of collapse, and one of my good buddies from high school was actually playing at, at Western and, and was on the verge of going to the NFL actually himself before he tore up his shoulder his uh, his senior year, which, you know, knocked down his draft stock and everything. But uh, they were on the verge of collapse in, like, 1991, 92. They were going to shut the doors. And, uh, you know, which is the reason why I really didn't go to Western was because of of that. But I've always been fond of them. Petrino was there. Jeff Brown was there. You know, they're, just, you know, probably about – an hour and a half, two hours south of Louisville. But I've always watched Western Kentucky football. It's enjoyable. And right now they're one of the funner teams, uh, more enjoyable teams to watch. Next one up, Toledo. Toledo Rockets in the MAC. Uh, here's another one, man. I, I, love, I love this color scheme. Back in the day, you know, we used to be in the conference with these guys. You know, University of Louisville at one time would play uh, East Carolina, and we had some thrillers, I mean, some knockdown fights. So, uh, got that East Carolina shirt for sure, for sure. And then here's the last one. We'll wrap up this long video. Uh, but it's been fun going through every one of these uh, for real. And then here's another one. New team on the block. Been around since 2017. And, uh, and, and F, uh, FCS, or F, I'm sorry, FBS, the football bow division. But they've had some really good times now. I mean, they're, they've lost their coach. Uh, so, you know, last year, I think they went eight and five. It'll be interesting to see what they do this year. They lost their NIL, uh, collective. So they, they've been scrambling, but coastal Carolina, man, um, you want to talk about using a team, one star, two star, three star, whatever they are, you know, one of those lower level teams, they're going to be fun to play with. They've got a great variety of uniforms that you can sit there and use for, for sure. And they got that teal field, man. Don't forget about that. I mean, you know, Boise got the blue field. 
Coastal Carolina's got that till field, and it's a nice little, you know, joint down there that, you know, you can play in. So that'll be a, a nice one that you can add if you, you know, you're thinking about doing a, a smaller dynasty. Coastal Carolina is something to think about, maybe build up that program. But anyway, man, that that's the collection right now. That's the 49 that I have. I, uh, I've got 31 more on the way that should be here uh, this coming week. And then I also just purchased 14 more, so I'm up to... 80 94 t-shirts uh, so i've got everything that fanatics has i've bought in this uh, variety so of the 134 i'll have 94 of the team so i'll be able to wear do little skits wear them during my um during these videos so anyway this video is long enough but that's just a little bit of swag that uh that i put together uh maybe you'll find this enjoyable if not hey it's not for everybody but if you stay tuned and watch this whole video keep watching it hit like and subscribe uh, we'll be coming out. I know this week coming up is going to be a lot, a lot, a lot of EA Sports College Football 25 news. We're probably going to get a deep dive in either Dynasty or Road to Glory this week. Um, so we're, we're going to have more stuff to talk about. Right now, we're just killing time, biding our time. You know, I've, I've, I'm on the Madden beta. Uh, so I did get that invite. Uh, so I had to step away from that though. I've been playing that nonstop. I cannot talk about it. They're shutting down channels and, and putting people on 90 day suspensions who talk about the Madden beta or even put up anything about it. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, but just know that I am in the lab. I've been playing Madden. Um, it, it looks good. It looks good. That's about all I'll say. I mean, you know, there, there's going to be uh, some things. There's going to be some things. People are going to get frustrated. You better learn how to play defense. You better learn how to play defense uh, because they, they've they kind of handicapped that side with some of the changes. Uh, it, it's going to be interesting. I mean, there's a lot of good things about Madden, but, um, hey, if, it's probably going to carry over to college football. So uh, those guys have been doing all that, you know, the, the meta on defense and, and everyone doing the same thing. It ain't going to work. You can't do it. They're not going to let you. They're not going to let you. So you're going to have to learn how to play defense. So it's going to be day one when everyone gets to pick up the sticks and figure this out. Whoo, it's going to be fun this year. But anyway, hit like and subscribe. Ferdo Kings, I'm out.